Sean Penn, the author of Bob Honey, Who Just Do Stuff, uh, his new book. Um, Bob, Bob, uh, uh, Bob Honey is a septic tank, tank salesman turned assassin who kills old people with a wooden mallet. Yeah. Okay. Um, And he's an assassin who thinks that the fictional president, not our president, right, but a right. fictional president, fictional president, yeah. might he it might the country might need his services to get rid of this fictional president. That's right. Have the Secret Service contacted you? Because <laughs> not that's the sort of thing you can't even make jokes about. Like that's the sort of thing that that they take very seriously. This is a fiction uh, about fictional people. It is, on the other hand, also. A kind of venting, because I think there's also that what happens as you get older is your idealism gets chipped at a bit, and then you're looking for hope. And in my case, to get to 57 years old, and when I need hope the most, it's it, it's it's harder and harder to find. Um, this is a way to have a kind of operating room laughter, uh, and and not just spend my time angry or part of the divisive discussion. Or part of the the culture of complaint part of it, because God knows whatever's going on right now has a lot more to do with an electorate that didn't get mobilized than it does the result of that. And so I just wanted to go and exercise that as a kind of um, venting. And 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 uh, and then what happens is I get done with the thing, and this horrible shooting happens in Parkland, and all of a sudden you have these kids who not only have just gone under. Combat level horror, which, you know, unless some you hear indoors or against concrete walls and corridors, what a weapon like that sounds like, and you're seeing your, your friends maimed and killed. Within days of that, not only are they stating their case with incredible sobriety and articulate words, but in such an inclusionary way where you, you feel like there are reasonable people who have been on the other side of this conversation who are going to listen to these kids. And you, and you think to yourself, thank God. And now, if these kids and this movement of these kids will get together with people representing other issues and make this a more ubiquitous movement, because God knows when the town hall is interrupted by BMW, you know, you know that BMW is going to decide when they're tired of this story. But when they get the whole picture and they're working together with other organizations, well, that's going to affect the ballot box. And that's going to affect the culture. And, and then um, I might write a less dystopian book. <laughs> so the kids give you hope. The kids give you hope. The book is Bob Honey, Who Just Do Stuff. It's out tomorrow. Sean Penn, everybody. We'll be right back with Sarah Gelber.